Previously. Watch me go through day one of my breakup. So this is what y'all gonna have to pause to read, cause yeah, baby, basically just a whole bunch of bullshit. Stand up, yeah, nah, baby. I was face planted in the grass, okay? I was weak in the knees. He was back in my bed. Hey, Pooh. So I want to make this like real simple. Um, the reason why I delete the video is not because I have any regrets, not because I'm ashamed, nothing because of that. It's because I don't believe I did it in the right manner, and I don't. I think it's kind of backwards for me to promote emotional maturity and all that good stuff however i'm still being like a bit petty if i'm going to relay a good if i'm going to like try to you know encourage a certain He won't fuck your best friend and your sister A lie to ya, or then screw ya Or get mad if his homeboys do ya Bombastic side eye Criminal offensive side eye Do you understand? Ooh child <laughs> I know y'all tired of being my heartbreak stories I know it Or are you? Or are you not? I don't know Don't mind my I like this background. Um, hold on, let me redo the my intro. Hey man, say man. <laughs> I think I like that. I think I like that. I'm gonna go with that because um my other like little intro was hey best friend, but y'all that got some sentimental value and I am no longer a best friend. So we gonna do and we got a story to yeah, of course. Got a story time for that as well. But we'll get to that later. So hey what would I say? Hey man, say man. I like that. Hey man, say man. It's your girl K A K K Guwap. And I'm back with another story time, so well another video and story time. So stop playing so much cool so let's get in to it i mean i posted a when i post that thing i think i posted that early june when it was like confirm 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 that it's the fucking rap but y'all yeah basically so Let's start from the beginning, shall we? I wish I still had like text messages and stuff like that from all that, but I don't. Um, I inserted like two old TikToks from around the time, like after four or five months of me dealing with him, um, because I met him in August. I met him exactly on August 28th, 2021. Um, we was arguing. I should have known off gate, y'all. Like anytime that you meet somebody and y'all just arguing and arguing and arguing and arguing, like that should let you know that, oh, y'all don't mesh but of course me being like oh you know office is a track you know maybe he just has his own personality da -da 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 -da, dumb ass shit you know i was just like oh by the way y'all i'm holding my phone up because my trap tripod was broken um in my move but we gonna we we gonna revamp all this stuff but anyway so yeah met him august 28th we argued for basically like a month and a half because i didn't see him again until october 7th my friend um you know she's the game night extraordinaire honey so she was just like oh we should do a game night invite them and i was just like girl fuck the nigga but yeah invite him <laughs> so yeah that happened that was on october 7th and then from then on out we ooch cooched and dedouched and we were stuck ever since um so yeah we humped it umped on October 7th and then in my head I'm just like okay nigga well I don't know where you think you're gonna go because it's not about my life you know because I'm, I'm not gonna hold y'all it was it was hidden it was hidden um but I should just always remember that when it's like hitting hitting like that it's because one of them little sex demons is coming out and they attaching themselves to you like yeah I feel like it'd be real like real 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 like mm -hmm when it's a soul tie being formed but of course i'm just thinking i'm just you know nothing <laughs> so i ain't worried about it at the time but baby i wish i could take back pussy head love heart 
all that but guess what you can't so that's why in life you got to be very careful about who you give yourself to who you love um who you allow in your life shit like that so yeah all that happened da, da, da. let me tell y'all something something real like significant like it's kind of crazy right so a significant date in what the hell type of whatever in that past relationship was valentine's day you would think it's because it's all shits and giggles and ooh la la and i love you and nah, 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 nah. no it was because it was always some fucked up shit going on between us on valentine's day so let's talk about valentine's day um okay so look the first tiktok was from january 25th 2022 okay that's when it had got a little hostile with us for the first time um to where we was arguing real bad and he called me out my name for the first time and i be getting mad y'all and he kept telling me leave me alone and i didn't because you're in my house if you want to be left alone get the fuck out um but of course still not right i did not have to anyway so yeah and he pushed me real fucking hard in my house um, and I hit the floor, baby, hard. And I'm on the top floor, and I'm big. So I know it felt like somebody was coming through the ceiling. I know it, I know it sounded like that. So, yeah, after I got my ass up on the floor, I was just like, oh, my God, you really just put your hands on me. You pushed me, like, hard as fuck, too. Like, when I tell y'all I hit that floor, it wasn't like no... Have y'all ever heard a big bitch fall, baby? Oh, no, it wasn't nothing no cute and do. It's a douche. That's what it was hitting on. Mm -hmm. So after I took 10 minutes to get up, because that shit did hurt a little bit, um, I politely told him to get his suitcase, his, his, his then six pairs of drawers and tank tops and all that stuff he had in my house and then on his little show, going to wrap it up and next one out. Um, because, you know, at this time, he's just telling me about you know where he lives he lives in this affluent neighborhood and all this and all this stuff that he got going on da, 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 woo -woo. but i knew something was in the back of my head i knew something wasn't right because <sighs> i'm from the city y'all right and if a nigga talk too much about what he got going on it's either he don't have all that stuff going on or it's it's it's, it's something like entangled within it to where that's not 100 percent fucking true okay okay so um we was always at my house which is no problem you know have a nice house um and when i say always at my house always at my house i'm talking about like he would buy groceries come cook for me like everything was always at my house and you know i just wanted to see where the fuck or how the fuck he was living i remember this one time in particular right um that mind you this is after i took him back yeah because everything happened no 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 the push happened five days before january 25th we were broken up for five days so the push happened on january 19th and then i made that video january 25th so it was before january 19th so yeah before january uh january a little bit january 19th we would have been talking for like what three going on four months um and like i said everything was at my house so i was just like okay well we gonna go to your house and he was like oh he was cool with it at first but i i think that he didn't think that i was gonna be persistent about it um but i was you know everything was cool we were sitting there watching movies we was fucking everything was cool and you know i thought he he thought he thought he was gonna you know slam me down to a coma because mm -mm, i'm in the back of my head i already know that something is not sitting right in my head about your living situation because you're telling me this and you're telling me that but you're not taking me to your house and we're supposed to be in a relationship i'm not one of them bitches i'm not one of the ones that think i'm in a fake leave relationship and it ain't none of that going on ain't none of that going on we're together we made that decision together and i need to know where the fuck you lay your head at. you're crazy as hell if you think i'm gonna be one of the ones oh yeah i never been to his house type of bitch hell no hell no so yeah so this one particular night he just laying around and i'm like okay i didn't got dressed and everything i'm like oh why would i go home babe because i know this is your home that just sounds so stupid after th after three to four months of getting some good dick and being in a relationship, I'm I let this nigga call my house his home. 
<sighs> but anyway, I was just like, why are we not going home, babe? Talking about referring to his home. Um, and he was just like, so why you think we're not going over there? And I said, well, baby, I don't know, honey. So you want to enlighten me? You want to tell me what the hell is going on? Um, and he was just like, well, basically, you know, can y'all guess? <laughs> he was saying, basically, he lived with his baby mama. But they're just roommates. <sighs> the biggest red flag, baby, that thing was so fucking bright. The thing, thing might as well have been neon pink, okay? And I sat there and believed that shit, bro. <laughs> I said they believe that shit. Mind you, let's let's talk about it a little bit. So this nigga's a liar. <laughs> he lied from day fucking one. He told me his birthday was on Halloween. End up being in November. <laughs> so me being basically a fucking simp, aka a trick, baby. I was tricking off that day, honey. Okay, because I had seen him again on October seventh, and that's when we started going together. And then I cashed out, and that's when the iPhone thirteen had just came out. Um, and I had cashed out and got him an iPhone 13. I had gave him a Series 6 watch, but then upgraded him to the Series 7, baby. Um, yeah, I was going off on him, right? So then, like I said, now we're in January. And you're telling me you're living back with your baby mom. I'm over here believing in the shit. You know, he telling me, oh, well, yeah, we don't do nothing. I don't touch it. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Um, so anyway, like I said, then the push happened. We broke up for five days. Get the fuck out. I made that TikTok on January 25th. Um, we was back talking by February 1st. So cool. Oh, that's good and dandy. Within them five days, baby, that man was calling me every day. Basically harassing me, honey. Threatening me. Talking about, oh, if I can't, if I wasn't going to be with him, I wasn't going to be with nobody. He was coming to my house. He was going to put some windows on me. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm over here thinking that I got that good shlonger on. Baby, this BBW pool slide had that nigga in a mental chokehold. Okay, I ain't never received so many death threats before in my life. I mean, I have because I know that, you know, niggas be upset when I leave out their life. But baby, that man <laughs> said that he was going to get me on a lie me um <laughs> behind this cat um it's not funny y'all so i'm i'm laughing but you know when somebody say that take them serious okay make sure you always good um anyway so yeah so we back talking february 1st whatever everything is all good and dandy back again me you know me just being stupid in love just just a dumbass just a dumbass um so long story short everything's going great you know dick is still dicking pussy still pussy in um yeah and then it would have happened it was started on february 12th to be exact february 12th of 2022 20, yeah february 12th because like i said he was always at my house mind you he said now i know know that you so-called live with your baby mama right and mind you i'm still finding text messages of him texting other women as well inappropriately because he keep thinking i don't know his code but baby i knew your code from day one i was just hoping that you would be honest and i didn't have to turn into an in inspector gadget baby but he already unlocked that feature in me okay do, 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 do. here i am a detective and i'm the type that's gonna allow you to that's gonna allow you to lie continuously baby and i'm gonna uncover every lie every time um and you know at the time of course still be stupid because i of course i stayed so i don't even know what the hell i was going to fit what they say on um i had was watching the braxton family values that used to be my show and i remember evelyn uh evelyn braxton the mom of all of them said if you ain't gonna do nothing when you find out that nigga, that man cheating then let him cheat in peace well baby i should have took notes because my dumb ass was just sitting like this looking all around like i wasn't just looking at a text thread of him just being inappropriate with bitches that i was just like ew fucking pew but <laughs> whatever so like i said uh shit's not going down on february 12th um they were just blowing his phone up at this time i didn't know who they was but at the at this time it had been his uh one of his bms which is blowing his phone up 
like back to back to back to back to back i'm talking about like late too so she she was calling late just i guess because you know his phone was always going i'm just like oh so she must know he over here did a double woo so just calling him back to back to back to back facetiming too i was just like oh okay and i was telling him i said answer the phone because it's all annoying me because mind you now i'm already dumb because i'm over here thinking that you all you do is just live with your bm and now i'm sitting here looking at you look at your phone that i got you on my plan that i'm paying for uh the phone go off consistently of facetimes that are going unanswered from your now bm so now in my back of my head, I'm getting mad because I'm just like, okay, so I just found some more text messages um, and now this is what's going on. So I'm just like, yeah, something is not fucking right. I already had this impression in my head from when, you know, he was dragging his feet to take me to his house, which it, we never made a bitch. Um, to now all these miscellaneous ass calls late at night. Okay, cool. So February 13th go by. And then February 14 arrives, Valentine's Day. I'm thinking, oh, it's our first Valentine's Day. You know, I'm over here being as dumb as a fucking doorknob. So it must, it, it should be a good time. Uh-uh. I am woken up. I remember the time at 7.28 a.m., honey. And then at the time, I was living in Suitland, and I had a one-bedroom apartment, okay? And this is one of one bedrooms where the bathroom is in your room so i just keep hearing my phone like the ow i bit my tongue sorry just keep going off just keep going off keep going off and i'm just like what the fuck is going on so i'm looking at my phone and i see all these missed calls all these text messages right and i get to read in the text messages babe this is the bm i don't know how she got my number but she did but she did and then mind you, I'm already, have you ever like woken up to some bad news to where your heart feels so heavy and your body get instantly hot? Oh baby, I was on fire, but I was just like, Corey, get all the information, get all the information before you lose your motherfucking shit in here. So mind you, wow, he don't even know I'm up because he's in the bathroom whispering on the phone. All you hear is, I will never do this to you. I don't know why you're blowing my cover. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So mind you, now that I hear that you're on the phone whispering in my bathroom in my home on the phone that I'm paying for, now I'm going to get loud. So I get up, I crack open the door, and I show him my phone screen. I'm like, so what is this? Right? So basically, um, she sent me, I wish I still had the fucking pictures, but I had to create a whole new iCloud um, because I was locked out of my last one so she was just showing me all the screenshots of them texting mind you on the phone once i'm just like i'm say on the phone that i got him for his then what i thought was his birthday um basically they was trying to make me a lick baby not like the good type of lick either honey like the the type of lick to where they was trying to get something up off me so apparently their little plan was because i was you know i guess which I, I still am and i'm going to reach all new heights this year um coming up in the whole social media thing they was planning to basically make me a fucking simp that they, they were showing me text messages about she had sent me text messages about him denying knowing me um he was lying about him not doing only fans with me um do you not know that this lady had created a whole been verified account on behalf of me to get all my information previous addresses age birthday associations all that shit honey it was really really very much so creepy that somebody could sit there and i only find a website like that but buy into it but yeah she did all that honey had my name age all that addresses honey um she had subscribed to the only fans where this is at the time where you know they only fans got a little strict now to where you need to tag everybody uh if you collab but back in the day all you had to do was just you know post the video it ain't you know call for all that um so y'all it got to the point where one of the text messages that she had sent because my she sent screenshots of their thread um where she was just like he was just like i don't know what you're talking about what only fans da, 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 but just blatantly lying blatantly lying <laughs> and she said no i know that i know that's you and she had described a part of his anatomy that only him his mama me 
and the Lord is supposed to know what's going on down there, right? <laughs> I was cracking up at that, but still very much so mad. So mind you, they still on the phone or whatever. He hangs up on her, you know, whatever shit. Um, just basically confirming that I was ta being taken advantage of, you know, nothing fucking new. Um, and I get, I get dumber. Don't you worry. I get dumber. <laughs> so all that's going on. And, um, I get to talking to her. Like, no lie. Y'all was on the phone with her for about 50 minutes. Um, because I'm not shocked no more because always lying anyway. Um, I, I'm still accepting flaws after flaws after flaws, lies after lies after lies all over some dangling. It's crazy how it can have you digmatized. It's 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 wild. So long story short, talking to her about fifty minutes, she on it all sad and shit, talking about how horrible he is to her, da 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 woo woo. But my whole thing is this right, I understand all that. Got you. We're here. But my thing is this you feel all types of way about that, right? But you don't feel a way for hurting me. I don't know you. I didn't know him. So this whole plan that y'all had concocted, you don't feel bad to do about doing this to another woman. Oh, okay. So shortly after that, the conversation ended. And what did I do once again, baby? Took him back. Took him back like a fucking ding dong. But guess what? We upped a step. Not only did she reveal all that to me, um, yeah, baby, she kicked him out out of the house that he said was his. Last time I checked, if something's yours, can't nobody put you out but the rental office or your landlord if you don't own it already. But yeah, baby, she politely packed up all his stuff, got a whole U-Haul truck, baby, and dropped all that off to her mama. She sure did all by herself, and it was a lot of shit. Pause for the calls. Four hours of sleep. And I'm back.